you're a happy man today you've your daughter in your arms as well it's a, a long time coming for Kilmallock standards but got over the line today and in fine style in the end you must be delighted yeah I think that we 2010 like it was kind of a 15 year gap and we were conscious we didn't want a, a gap like that to start to open up again and really like it's all about inspiring the next generation you see Paddy and Gavin Barry and myself and Andrew Shock to see you know, Ryan all of their children on the field today and it's just about uh, I suppose yeah, inspiring that next generation to come through yeah a tough route as well, obviously finishing runners up in the group, a really tough quarter final, a tough semi final. You did it the long way? Yeah, I think so. We've been kinda of improving as games went on. Like we, we snuck over the line against Bally Brown and um, beat beat uh, Liberty's next in time and really didn't really put a performance together till till we played Dune and, and then kinda of carried that through to today so we were delighted like we got better as the games went on. It was always going to be a tight game and panned out that way for, for a large majority of it. it. It maybe always seemed though that you had that small bit more, maybe that small bit more creativity, maybe a bit more. We kind of always stayed a point or two ahead, but I think really key was pushing for a fella that's been our star performer really throughout the year. It was kind of quiet today, but up to really just producing the moment the magic and that just shows the quality that guy has like uh, to put that ball in the back of the net and really put us on our way. Talking about moments of magic, I think you had what, six or seven points from play yourself and a, a man of the match performance. It was, I suppose, a, a lot of youngsters on this team as well, but, but you're leading the charge as one of the elder statesmen. Yeah, I suppose, but it, if you go back to the last game against Doon, um, I think like it wasn't one of my best performances ever and really the, the team dug in that day and got us over the line and I owed it to them to turn up today and just thank God I did put a performance together, yeah. I suppose putting a county title back to back with an All Ireland title, it's really special days for you yourself as a player. Yeah, I think, as I said to someone already, like inter county is, is really a bonus. Um, it's your club that you grow up with um, on the field of, with a five and six with these guys, and that's really what you dream of winning. Um, watching the likes of Donald Barry, Mike Hool, and Dave Clark winning counties back in the 90s, like that's what you really wanted to emanate, and yeah, to, today is, is, is extra special. And you'll celebrate today, obviously, but. Attention will soon shift to the Munster Championship and the last time we were there you won it and that has to be your aspiration going on forward now. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. Um, I think the Cork Championship doesn't finish up till late November so they'll have the, I suppose, the aid of having games and competitive games together rolling into that championship whereas we might be sitting cold so we find it difficult now to, to, to find challenge matches and, and prepare but it's a challenge we're, we'll, we're, we're going to relish.